Hello there. Is it safe to say that I'm addicted to The Sopranos? I'm recording yet again another episode. What's going on, guys? My name is Ellie Moses, the 23-year-old law and film senior, senior share, absolutely shooting his shot. And today, we are up to episode 5 now of The Sopranos Season 2. This one is titled Big Girls Don't Cry. Commendatori was an absolutely fantastic episode. And now, yeah, we're going to get into episode 5. We're going to have some fun with this thing. We're going to smash it and let's see what's in store for Tony and his boys as now they are back in New Jersey. Let's get into it. Oh, June 2 ad. I will actually happily watch this ad because I am so excited for this film. If you miss your first session, they won't refund my money. I forgot, I gotta take care of this first. Yeah, I feel like some of the shots in this show are sped up. Christopher been wearing an awful lot of black lately. <laughs> Third time this week, buddy. It can't turn down a fourth time. <laughs> oh, you done already? About time you came back. I was about to start on your drapes. What the fuck is that? Quail, a la buco. Baby quail stuffed with. Sausage. Can I get aid for needing this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't I see this guy in the park this morning taking a shit on a statue? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm trying something new. Hey, broaden your horizon. Forget this fancy shit. You know what you need here? Top notch mozzarella maker. Like that kid from the other side. Mozzarella maker. Uh. The best. To get the real milk. Seriously, this kid, all he does 24 hours a day, he makes buffalo mozzarella. He's a master cheese maker. So is Paulie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Huh. Arthur, the bank. Enjoy. I'll catch you later. You better run. Why don't she go to the bank? Swing by it that she takes a broom for an oil change. I'll be right back. Go wine, huh? Delicious. Kitchen's pretty packed, though, and I can barely pay myself. Did I ask you to pay him? I'll take care of the money. Why does he want to come here? He's got a job over there. You know what? Either do me the favor or not. Straight to the point. Don't beat around the Put bush. Up. You needed something. I was there. No questions. Does he at least uh, know his ass from his shkomots? Adi keeps sucking it up, sucking it up. He, he, it's, he doesn't know how to say no to Tony because a little bit of fear in there. This is acting for writers. And your first assignment is to act like a writer who gets here on time. <laughs> Sorry. Tunnel. As writers, you'll find it enormously helpful to pick up the writing school. Imagine being an architect who's never lifted a stone. Over the next few weeks, we'll focus on improv and scene study. Why don't we begin by introducing ourselves? What your experience is, where you're from? <clears throat> uh, Mitch McDermott, born and raised in Hartsdale, but please don't hold that against me. Uh, uh, BA in English Lit from Ithaca. I've written a few specs. I uh, haven't actually sold anything yet. Uh, right now, I'm on the sales team down at Chick Brower, Porsche Audi. Nice. Great. Welcome. Uh, my name is Chris McAviti. I work on Wall Street. Uh, not on Wall Street, but, you know, stocks. You write? Yeah, yeah. I want to write for the movies. Good fellas, shit like that. <laughs> Any special reason you chose this class? I didn't. It was a birthday present for my girlfriend. Nice, big up Adriana. Problems with my screenplay, so I bought that book. Uh, how to write a movie in 21 days? That was like a year ago. <laughs> well, I can't guarantee you'll write any faster, but hopefully you'll learn a few things. I'm not sure if this class is for Chris. I feel like he's gonna snap. His temper is not built for this. I was uh, born in Savannah, but my family moved to Hempstead when I was five. Despite not his crowd, I feel like. You know, it might not. It might work out. It might be a good thing for him. Getting to know different people, getting to know different minds, how different people think. Salvatore Big Pussy Bompensero was believed to be the target of a botched murder attempt last year. Jesus fucking Christ. How come every person I take is a fucking news story? I'm making some changes. Well, thanks for fucking telling me. When was this assignment? I do something wrong? Sunday. <laughs> My house. Box of Malamos on the counter. 
fucking empty. You think I don't know it was you? I'm kidding you, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, him coming over is good. You're getting a bump. Fucking malamaz. I thought you lost your mind. <laughs> Listen, the way things are, I gotta step back. Let's find an excuse, I'll do a dime for jaywalking. Not like the old days, eh? Fury will be in here. Freeze you up, freeze me up. It's me and you and Syl together. That's the new pecking order. What about Puss? Pussy reports to you guys. Directly. Same with Furio. Got a new layout. New hierarchy order. This means a lot to me, P. It was a downpour. Kappa's hat. He couldn't see anything. It was impossible. Where are you in the dream? I'm there. I could observe everything. He's driving, and he starts to hyperventilate. <laughs> he grabs for a bottle of Prozac, but it's empty. And all the while this is happening, that song from The Wizard of Oz is playing. Over the Rainbow. No, that other one. Uh... The one nobody remembers. <laughs> we got The Wizard of Oz. You're out of the woods, you're out of the woods. Get into They're in the, the poppy light, field. get into the sun. He crashes into this huge truck. 717. Out of the woods. The fact that he can't see the road ahead suggests my abandoning him. Who in Wizard would your patient be? The big mega mind head. <sighs> Was it the witch? Like, not the witch. The Given the fact that he's a powerful, dominating male. Oz himself? Yeah, yeah, that guy. The, the one, the, the creepy ass looking one. Eyebrows already. I haven't seen it in a while. Sorry. The Wizard of Oz, what memories does it conjure up? Mm. My parents' house, watching it on TV. Hiding under the blanket with my sister. That's very good, Elliot. Great film, but uh, some terrifying moments. It's very perceptive. I'm concerned that treating a mobster provides you some vicarious thrill. It wasn't exactly vicarious. I had to go into hiding, remember? And wasn't that thrilling? Fuck you. <laughs> you think this is funny. You smug cocksucker. Fuck you. Hey, hey, a little bit of Tony in there from Melfi. <laughs> she hearing something she don't like? She walk out. And swears on, I uh, swears on the way out too. That fucking bitch. What's the matter? It's a bank. She's trying to take out a loan on my mother's house. Parvani? Janice. Her name is fucking Janice. Okay. She gave him the wrong social security number or something. All right, Tony, calm down. It's not enough that, that she's living rent free. She's got to try to squeeze money out of the fucking house too. <laughs> Bloody Janice, man. Fucking goddamn fucking. What did I say, AJ? Go get dressed. My boy just wants some jam. Come on. I'm sorry. Why don't you grow the fuck up? Man, Tony loves throwing his tantrums and hissy fits. That was clean. That was clean with the dishwasher. <laughs> hey, she... she... <laughs> Hey, Carmella made it look like a transformer was transforming right there. It was like, do, 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 boom. <laughs> All the bots were all out. She made it look like Decepticon shit there. I have to tell you, I got a job at Radio Shack. Product testing. Giving that phone an F for durability. Wow, that's the conversation with AJ. The man clearly needs attention. Open up to the kid, because if you don't open up to him now, if he doesn't get the childhood he needs, he's gonna he's not gonna have the best future. If he's not getting the attention Guys, and being getting a fatherly and motherly figure. Um so yeah, if he has to deal with problems on his own at that such a young age, um it you know, it could make him a very strong man in the future, or he could go down the other path. Because I've seen it happen, um, my family, and I'll leave it at that. But, um, yeah, 
AJ clearly needs some attention. He looks like he's going through some problems possibly at school. Um, who knows? But yeah, yeah, a lot's weighing on his mind. You can tell whether it be his parents, whether it be um, his studies, just whatever. But he's clearly, um, you know, craving that attention. Similar to Carmela needs some attention or like some loving from her husband. Um, but he needs that attention, I feel like, um, because down the line, it could completely hurt him. are you doing here where's my sister i'm effing her stop i'm making breakfast you want some eggs moved into your mother's house and effing your sister i want some egg why don't you put your fucking pants on why don't you have some coffee <laughs> look at this how's your fucking harry in here that's beautiful stay as long as you like rich She's your fucking problem now. This is a no-stopping zone, ma'am. Sign's right over there. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see it. I left my glasses at home. It says here you're required to wear them for driving. Now, into this mix comes Brenda's husband, Omar, who's just leaving the market with a bag of oranges. What's the trouble here, officer? Your wife's getting a ticket. Maybe I can change your mind. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You're dropping your fucking oranges. <laughs> Very good. Hey, he's good. Hey, he's good. I so, he's gonna... <laughs> because he's, you know, a certain role he can play where he'll nail it. Um, and because he's had that real-life experience... It's gonna come off like it's improv, but it's just it's just how Chris is. Um, any questions? Okay, then let's see what the pros have to teach us. For next time, Phil and Joanne, scene two, barefoot in the park. Chris, Mitch, and Cynthia, scene six and seven, the glass menagerie. Wow. Chris, you are the gentleman caller. Okay. Uh, Bob and Amy. I'm rooting for Chris in this department. I just hope it doesn't go tits up like I'm predicting. I'm predicting it will. Oh, he over from Italy. That's that. Oh, that's Fusio. Oh, sorry. The president, Nubogopo, Lil Pichai. He tells me nothing. Who's this up anyway? He's a friend of ours. Talk later. Man. You having a good time? <laughs> Food's good, right? You're on. It's a spectacle. The television. The the satellite. What? The AMC. <laughs> Two women is on. <laughs> Two women is on. We La Rore. <laughs> Nobody care. Yeah. Tell them what your favorite TV program is. Kill the show, maybe I just sigh. The PD Blue. God, state's a freaking parking lot. Oh, who it is? Christopher, how you doing, man? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> how I, you doing, man? make a party for me. Hey, Furio, come here a second. I want you to meet somebody. Hopefully, Christopher doesn't think that he's going to take his sort it's of like... vacation? Yeah. He's saw a travel force for sunny New Jersey. He's with us now? Mm. Guess I didn't get the memo. Would you have read it if you got one? Where the fuck you been anyway? Did you talk to that guy down at the uh, tanning salon? He only had half. Again? Ask yes, me. It's that Chinese cunt he's married to. Bad influence. She's a Filipino. I wasn't sure what you wanted. I want you to send him a past due notice. What the fuck you think I want? All right, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Is he too embarrassed to say that he's getting writing classes? You know what? Leave it alone. You sure? Yeah. Does he think he's gonna put Furio up to it? Carmella. A different man? What do you want? I brought some cookies. Pignolis. A relative from the other side is here. I should pay my respects. 
I love how you can see Uncle June looking through the collection. I said I have one. Doing so good. It doesn't make any sense. The guy's a player and he's trying to fuck this broad. Where did it say he is trying to fuck her, Christopher? Please. Maybe he is not. You ever think that's why he's the gentleman caller? Maybe he's a gentleman. He's a douchebag. <sighs> so quit. I'm not gonna quit. I'll just get a different scene. <laughs> I like you as an actor. Joe Pesci or something. <laughs> this is Jericho, cell leader of the SOS. Let it be known from this day forth that lawlessness will not be tolerated. Jimmy Hollywood, come on. Hey, Tony. I love Adriana's accent. I know why. I just love it. Why don't you fix up a drink on yourself, okay? Hesh, man. Far out. Uh, a guy named Danny Greco called me. He asked me for a loan. I said, you'll vouch. For Danny? Yeah. I told you Danny was good for whatever. Oh, yeah? Yeah. At the steakhouse. Oh, yeah. Be within yeah, a few yeah. minutes. Um, since I'm here, can I talk to you about something? It absolutely has to stay between the two of us. I feel like I can respect Hesh. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel like he can be respected. He can be trusted. Out of any fucking scale you want to use, things are going good. I'm firmly in charge, no trouble there. My family is healthy, right? Mm -hmm. So why the fuck am I ripping phones out of the wall in front of my kid and screaming at my sister all the fucking time, although she is totally unimportant to me? You got a lot on your mind. Time to see Melfi again. Mm. See, that's the point. You never saw Carlo or Lucky or Douglas MacArthur going around punching fucking walls. What if I told you I went to see a shrink? I had an inkling. Every once in a while, I get uh, anxious. You know, just in general. No reason. It's like I'm in my kitchen. All of a sudden, I can't breathe, right? It's like I'm suffocating. I get to the point where I fucking pass out. Just like your father. What is? That's the same thing. My old man had anxiety attacks? Well, in those days, we called it a condition. Didn't happen that often, once or twice a year. Holy shit. <laughs> he cracked his head open once on a cigarette machine. <laughs> you go to a doctor? Your father? What, are you kidding? Wouldn't have made any difference in those days. They wouldn't know how to treat that shit. Not much better now. You know, there was an article <laughs> in the New York Times magazine. They got this machine. You can see images of the brain and how your brain responds to fear. The fear. You see a person listening to a tape of a parent criticizing. I'm talking about an adult, mind you. Their fear center kicks right in. You can actually see it in an MRI. I had this fucking weird dream the other night. You know, when I had the polyps, they put me through that fucking MRI. I'm telling you, I think they used my ass to invent some new tests. I was <laughs> at the beach, but I had a suit on. And the shoes, too. Did you have a camera up your ass the size of a garden hose? You want to hear this fucking dream or not? All right. Got a sec? Sure, what's up? It's my scene. Gentlemen call a guy. It's, uh, it's not me. It's not supposed to be. That's why they call it acting. <laughs> I know, it just... <laughs> I'd rather do something else. I already spoke to what's his name? Mitch, Cynthia, too. They're cool with changes. All right. Alan's scene partner dropped out, so I gotta find something for him anyway. I love how this entire episode and towards, like, and even the last episode, um, Chris was wearing predominantly black um, clothing. And then now in this scene, obviously, he's finally put on white. Maybe it's, I don't know, to indicate a sudden change of heart or change of passion a little bit. It's still black and white. That black is still there. Um, I don't know if I'm reading too much into the clothing, but that black is still there. Um, but yeah, it's more predominantly white now. I like it. Come I on, Chris. Out of course. James Dean. Copy it for the others, okay? Take it home, get comfortable with it. It's great. Cool. I don't want a James Dean impression. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, the ducks! They're back! Big up Emilio Estevez! Shout out to Mighty Ducks! Let's go! Hey, Mitch! 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 Hey, Mitch!
Если бы я хотела выйти замуж за рабочего, я бы осталась в Казахстане. What did he say? Nothing. Not a fucking words for nothing. He said if I don't like to fight, I should find myself a Russian. Ah, oh, here we go. And just like that. You got a problem besides those fucking pants? You shouldn't yell. Oh yeah? You should mind your own fucking business. I make business. She's a nice girl. Yeah, what are you, a family counselor? You want to get involved in people's problems? Here. Yes, now you're fucking involved, okay? She's a boss, right? Yes. Do something. You want to be involved? Now you're involved. Oh, you let go. I you call police. Mind your fucking business. You. You call police. Fuck you. Man just went and hopped on another person's boat like that. Like it was GTA. Hopping boat to boat. Fuck. Get your shit, we're going. Come on. Oh, she was putting the floaties on. Move your ass. Huh? Your ass. Help me, Daddy. Daddy. You can depend on me. Trust me. Whatever comes, we'll face it together. <laughs> I'll fuck this shit. You said you weren't gonna laugh. <laughs> I didn't laugh. Baby, you were doing so good. Nah, fuck this. No! Yeah, he really method acting now, man. <laughs> Absolutely not. Just do the work you were assigned. Well, how about the scene where I'm playing chicken and I dive out of the car right before that asshole buzz goes off the cliff? There's no dialogue in that scene. The knife fight, then? No. I already changed it once. I gave you the scene because it's challenging. Yes, accept it. It's accept Russia the challenges. Fun. Prevail. Freaking look at it and get a hold in. I would have played great with Uncle Junior and everybody else after my mm. ass. I love how sort of Hesh has assumed the role of like therapist this episode um, for Tony. Um, <laughs> I just find it obviously he went to like the more, not, I don't know if Hesh is wiser, but like the more experienced elderly individual obviously lived at the time of Tony's father and experienced things with him. And he goes to him for counseling and advice and guidance and they're sort of having their own therapy sessions i like that you have them two having their own therapy sessions melfi walking out on her own and then um christopher and adriana having their rehearsing sessions which i love <laughs> to run like a bitch for my own leisure time activities mm. that's just when i go to sleep i was on a boat with okay that's nothing new but my kids it happens okay the fuck is wrong with me i got some kind of complex what kind? You know, sleep always helps. Oh, you want to go to sleep? Go ahead. Hey. Jesus Christ. Easy does it, Lenny Book. See, he just snaps instinctly. Like this, but there was one guy who almost drove me to murder. Well, lately, I feel this aversion to my swimming pool. It depresses me. Cocksuck was a sound engineer in one of my studios. That's the second time that's happened where Tony was talking about his dream. Hesh was talking about something else. Tony would talk about his dream. Hesh would talk about something else. So he wouldn't reply in sort of like the therapist way. He wouldn't reply with questions um, or sort of see um, or like attend to his sort of like needs and listen to him. Um, Hesh is not a therapist. All the time. I actually find myself avoiding the backyard. You're the Nazi. You just kind of rub me the wrong way. <laughs> None <laughs> of them are paying attention to what they're saying. And he was two spots over and he was rotating his tires. It like it was a goddamn service station. So I said to him... Two people that both need therapy. <laughs> Mitch is his father and Cynthia is his troubled friend, Judy. Come on, Chris. You got this. You got this, fam. Shut the lights! Make them go away! Plato! Keep away from me! I don't believe you anymore! Gunshot! Jim! Uh, I got the bullets! Look! Oh, God. And the cops swarm in. Let him alone. That's my son. When I saw the red jacket, I thought, hey, jerkpot, what'd you do that for? You can't help it, son. You did everything a man could. Hey. 
You can depend on me. Trust me. Whatever comes, we'll face it together. It's okay, Jim. Stand up. And I'll stand up with you. And I'll try to be as strong as you want me to be. Well, Dave, you got nobody. Just nobody. I like this reflects a lot on Chris's life here. And he actually, he actually crying here. Like he... This is the scene for him. He was always cold. Yes. This is Judy. She's my friend. Scene. Fair play. He smashed it. They all smashed it. Fair play. Yeah, that, that scene hit. He, he hit close to home. That's why. I feel like when you act from experience and a scene resonates with you like that, it comes natural. I thought it was a great cheese grater. Watch your ashes, please. Now that's just irresponsible. I'll be outside. You know, we should have a devil's game someday. Still get tickets from the Greek? Yo, um, Artie's wife is going to lose that. I remember we we're talking about towards the end of season one, she had that conversation with him. I don't want this to become like sort of like a mob dine out place where they start, you know, um, coming here weekly to discuss their things and having those sort of individuals in our restaurant. And now you got those sort of individuals working at their restaurant. And I don't know when, I, I feel like the line's being crossed with her, but I'm not going to show when she's going to explode and say nothing is enough. Right on the fucking ice. I'll bring my sweater. Hey, chef of the future. Have a seat. How you doing, foodio? Foodio. You didn't stop those grapes yourself, did you? <laughs> Look at this crew. Gotta stay in check, pussy. Hey, Mr. New York. Oh, what did you do? Swim across that river. Come over here, you. Congratulations. Thanks. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, don't get up. I wasn't gonna. It's a shit. Say hello to Furio. Friend of ours. Pussy's slowly stuck. drifting away from the group. Oh, hey. I heard a lot about you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, me too. My pleasure. Yeah. So, what's up? Puss. Wanna give us a minute? I'm in the middle of fucking eating. I know. Do me a favor, will you, sweetie? Yes. Keep this warm. Thank you. Five minutes. All right? Paulie calling the shots now. He's above Puss in the hierarchy, so Puss in Boots needs to take a seat. Call anyway. And he's going to continue to get more frustrated, but can't just alienate him like that. But I guess it's like all these years you go away for a year. What I tell you? You think Tony really gives a flying fuck about you? Sting of Oz. Fucking joke. More like this thing of mine. It's the same all over. Look out for number one. You don't understand. We go fuck him back. I mean, Silvio I get, but fucking Paulie. He's probably dizzy from all that hairspray. And this other one, the Geep. Furio, Furio. If ever there was a guy in desperate need of a fucking nickname. At least he's Italian. Try being passed over for a Samoan. It's a saga. Three years out of Quatico, he's a new agent in charge. You're fucking kidding me. What happened to Paterno? Kansas City. Living years doing this shit. It's like Tony says himself. Most of the guys in this life, there's no fucking honor. Forget your enemies. You can't even depend on your friends. <laughs> that, that, that is so oh, true. The ones coming up, half of them are on drugs. The other half are fucking psychos. Shots Both at Christopher. I'm thinking about taking my patient back. 
It's a serious decision. He's my responsibility. Ellie and I abandoned him. We've been over this. Your life is in danger. Not anymore. Do you realize what I did last week? I stormed out of here like a child. Cursing, threatening, acting out. That's exactly what he does to me. I'm feeling so... You know, it's serious when Melfi got the shades off. <laughs> she don't have the shades on. Fuck, I don't know where this is coming from. It's like, it's like Tony unearthed another sort of dimension. Or like, she he unearthed another side of Melfi, I feel like. I don't know. I just feel like she saw that side in him and it sort of like um, left its mark on her. That's how I see it. You mentioned you put on a little weight lately i'm saying that i'm saying that the overeating has anything to do with your patient what is it you're not telling me jennifer i don't know i don't know what you mean okay i don't what are you driving at Watch your intake of sugar. I think seeing him again will be very therapeutic for me. It's not supposed to be therapeutic for you. This is your therapy here. Do you have sexual feelings for him? No. I have, no. I have feelings. On a personal level. He can be such a little boy sometimes. But that's it, the one with the pump. <laughs> There's a buzzer under the desk. Hey, but big girls don't cry. In the back. I juke up eat. I said it. He was going to put full, uh, Fusio on the job. He's no juice to Dominic who is the problem. Fusio, sorry. He's the wife, too. Yeah. Furiosa. F Fury. <laughs> Let's see how Furio handles business. Bitterness. You know what? I wouldn't mind if Christopher gets taken out of the game. But the thing is, there's a sense there that seed has been planted with Christopher that his rank might be taken. Um, and that side... so Because, like, I love his like him chasing his film dreams. I love it. I love it. But at the same time, he doesn't know how to let go of the mob side of things. Like he doesn't know how to say no to that. He's addicted to that side of thing. Because with Christopher, just when you think, you know, he sort of had his way out, I feel like, and he, he might have a break here. He might have some potential. He might come crawling back to the mob world once he sees that his place has been taken. Like he can't help it. Yeah, 40 or different. There's been a one take scene as well. One take breaking. Ah. I thought it was a world class cheese grater. Blew his knee out and he's like, he takes a puff of his cigar. This brother. Oh, he a savage. Where's the subtitles? <laughs> yes, yeah, so? I uh, tried your other number. 
you want. I could uh, fit you in tomorrow at 2.30. So, do I put you down? Nah, fuck it. <laughs> Why do you say that? Can't buy it without it. No cure for life. Well, you think about it. He gonna rock up at 2.30. Yeah. He gonna rock up at 2.30. Damn, Tony and his crew entered the transfer market and they're like, yeah, we will give you this amount of money for Fudio and they did the transfer of the century, man. <laughs> hey, they, they entered the NFL draft and they drafted Fudio. <laughs> number one, round one, draft pick number right there. Tony's happy so far. He's performing well. <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> a case in point, words are only words. You just saw two actors have an entire conversation saying only A, and the other responding B. Mitch, Christopher, you want to give it a try? Hey, come on, Chris. Come on, get up here, stand your tail. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. Stop it, Christopher! This is inappropriate! Go. Do not hit! Hey, come on! Get off! Are you okay? I knew. Why, man? You alright? This is what it's all about. Revealing your innermost feelings is the best kind of writing. And how do you know what it's all about, huh? From writing down orders at the fucking restaurant? Hey, leave her alone, oh. man. Alright, take it easy. Your whole thing with, with script writing, who else is behind you? Who even knows about it? I hated seeing you suffer with that writer's block. See? When I saw the ad in the paper acting for writers, I couldn't wait to get it for you for your birthday. She's supporting you, sorry. fam. She a true woman. She a true GF. Hey, Jan, I'm sorry. Uh, ah. I'm starting the next episode straight after this. I don't care. <laughs> Formalities. You gotta love the way he just... Hey, it's good to have the office back. So, where do we begin? I feel like there's a bit of catharsis here for everyone. Like, Melfi feels relieved to be back. Tony's like, how do I, how do I approach this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you should either take it or don't take it, okay? Yeah, I feel like she's the mother in this instance. You know, she talked about Tony being like a little baby at times or like a little in child. The, shop, the way he's like... You had a panic attack that led to an automobile accident. The way he's acting there. Hmm. That seems like years ago. It's like a childish response. You were so busy? Or you mean that you're angry with me for not agreeing to treat you then? My old man had the same thing. Panic attacks. Followed by passing out. Cracked his head open on a cigarette machine. Interesting. Interesting. That's it. You're not gonna send me for fucking tests or something? Did you read the article in the Times? Anthony, what is it you want to achieve here? What I want to achieve? I feel like Carmela might be happy to hear that he's seeing the therapist again. I'm gonna stop fucking panicking. I wanna direct my power and my fucking anger against the people in my life that deserve it. I wanna be in total control. There's no such thing as total control. Of course there is. You wanna be a better gang leader? Read The Art of War by Sun Tzu. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> You know who I am. You know what I do. You called me. <laughs> you called me. 
You know where I was yesterday when you called? I was outside a whorehouse. Well, the guy that works for me was inside beating the shit out of a guy that owes me money. Broke his arm. We're at this stage now. Kneecap. We're open. There's no more beating around the bush. There's no more telling the story through the lens of like... Make you feel. Do you reckon... Do you reckon... Beating or taking me. He's so fascinated by Tony. He's so fascinated by his character. I feel like she relishes these responses now. Like she's waiting to hear some, some of these things. Because as a therapist, this is going to be like, this is her most interesting patient ever. And now that we've established that sort of open relationship, that open line, it's going to be mental. No more writer's block. Get back into it, Chris, man. You got to apologize to that guy too. Hey, sometimes you just get that itch, eh? That idea comes up and you got to put it. Put it to paper. <laughs> you bark, I bite. <laughs> Oh! Don't delete the file. Don't delete the file. Don't throw away your aspirations in the trash like that, man. Come on. I hope that's not the final straw for that, man. Come on. Such a freaking annoying way to end it. I love... I don't know. I guess because I have, like, sort of similar dreams and aspirations. I hate to, like, see it thrown away like that. Um, and especially for the life he's going to adopt and the life he's already involved in. Um, it's just like, no, man. Be different. Be different. Ah, oh, fantastic episode of The Sopranos yet again. I, I feel like a broken record now. I say that every episode. The way the episodes are constructed, the characters are absolutely fantastic, man. Like, oh, man. I hope you guys have been enjoying these reactions. I hope you guys have been enjoying my analysis. This is, this is, this is, this is. As always, it's been Vodimosis. Take care. God bless. Peace.